Hey there, this is Laquita with QuitaBugHandmaids.com. Thank you so much for joining me today for another Stampin' Up! tutorial. So today I have a project for you featuring the Dragonfly Garden stamp set. And this project is actually inspired by a dress that I saw on Father Brown. I don't know if any of you watch Father Brown. It's one of my favorite shows. <laughs> um, but I, I saw this dress. Bunty was wearing it the other day in one of the episodes that I was watching. And I absolutely loved it. I immediately thought I have to turn this dress into a card. I was so inspired. So if I can find a picture of that dress, um, I'll put it, uh, I'll insert it right here. But it was just the most beautiful 1950s vintage dress with this vanilla creamy background and dragonflies all over it in black and then other little black details. I loved it. So that is what inspired today's card. All right, so I've got all of my pieces here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get my stamping out of the way first. I'm just gonna bring in some scrap paper here. I'm gonna stamp in Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I'm gonna start first with this piece of Very Vanilla. I will have the exact measurements of this piece over on today's blog post, I can't remember. And I'm using this dragonfly image. You have two to choose from. You've got this one and then you've got this one. So I chose the one that had the filled in body. And I am just going to create my own little background with this image, which is something that I haven't done in a while. So I'm going to start in this top left corner and stamp. And then I'm just going to start building up my background here. Background stamping is just so much fun. And I never use very vanilla, ever. So thank you, Bunty. <laughs> thank you, Father Brown, for helping me break out a color that I never use. Uh, let's see. So put that one there. Okay. And then I'm actually gonna angle in and get another one of these right here. Oh, that looks so good. And then I'll get one there. And then I think I can sneak just a little bit of wing in right here. Yes, I've got a little on my desk. Okay, that looks good. And then I do have a very vanilla envelope here and I am going to, let's see, try to get that dragonfly on my envelope as well. I'll just angle them like that. Okay. And then now for my sentiment, I'm stamping May Good Things Grow all year long. And I've just got a scrap piece of very vanilla here for that. Okay. And there's a little speck of something there. I don't want that on my card. So I'm gonna stamp again on this side. Okay, all right. Then I have got a scrap piece of basic black here. And then I've got a couple of the layering circle dies. So I've got a regular circle and then a scalloped circle. And I'm going to bring in my mini machine here so we can die cut really quickly. So I've just got plate number one, a cutting plate, and then I'm going to put my sentiment down and my circle here on top. Just center that up. I think that looks, that looks centered to me and another cutting plate on top of that. And I'll just run this through. I love my mini machine, you guys, I love it. I use this little machine all the time now. And it's just so convenient because it just sits right here on my desk. 
So I love it. Okay, then my piece of black, basic black, and my scallop plate on top. Crank it through. Yay! Alrighty, so now we can start putting this card together. Okay, so for my card base, I have got a piece of very vanilla thick cardstock. This is eight and a half inches by five and a half inches. I've scored it at four and a quarter inches. Just gonna fold it over. Okie dokie. And then don't forget, like I said, all of the measurements are on today's coordinating blog post linked down below in the video description. Basic black cardstock. This is four inches by five and a quarter. And again, the very vanilla layers on top. Just an eighth of an inch less on all four sides. Just to give a little peek of that um, basic black just a tiny bit okay so you'll see that a little better in just a second once I layer it on ooh kind of need a lighter background because I can't see so I hope that's centered <laughs> okay and then I'll add this on to my card front I always want to check mark my stamp and seal even though you don't have to do that Okay, I didn't get that perfectly centered. Drat. Oh man, I hope it doesn't ruin the look. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. But on the sample, it's perfectly straight. So if I have to take that one out to show you, I will. Okay, so we got that on there. And then what I did next is I added two strips of um, black cardstock. So these are cut at a half an inch and they will be four and a quarter inches um, in length once I add them on and snip off the extra. So I'm just going to flip these over and put, whoops a little bit of adhesive on them. Okay, and let's see. Just going to line this one up with the left side. Okay. Yep, put that down. And then I'm just leaving a tiny little gap between the two of them. Just a little space. Okay. And then I'll just open this up and snip off that little bit of overhang. Let me bring back my scratch paper so that I can see when I add my sentiment onto this scallop. Okay, got that on there couple of our black Stampin' Dimensionals onto the back. And then I'll just add this onto the front of the card right about. Mm, there looks good, that's so cute. And then to finish up the card, I've got my favorite, which are our matte black uh, dots. I love these, so I'm just gonna put two of the smaller dots right down here and on Bunty's dress she had some little buttons that kind of look like these it was just ugh, the dress was just gorgeous and then I'll put another one right there okay then you guys know I like to decorate the envelope flap with um, designer paper well I pulled in some of this playing with patterns designer series paper but this is black and white and it just it bothered me the white normally I'm not bothered by that but it did bother me for this card so what I did is I took the designer paper this is cut two and a half inches by six inches and I brought in my Sahara sand ink and one of our Stampin' sponges and I just put a little bit of ink on there and just to kind of mute some of that white I just sponged on this Sahara sand ink and it gave just enough color to that white um, that you can see peeking through the background to where it matched so much better um, with the very vanilla envelope. So just a little trick for you. You can see it's just taking that, muting that white down. 
I was so excited when I thought about that. I was like, oh, I'll just sponge on a little color and get that to match a little better. There we go, that looks really good. Perfect, that's enough. So now I'll just come in with some liquid glue so that I can adhere my designer paper onto my flap. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. Give that a good press. And then come in with some scissors and just snip off where it hangs over the edge. And there you have it. And look at that. That envelope looks so much better. That designer paper looks so much better with that little bit of color on it because it tones down that white. And that's such a pretty card, you guys. I just love it. It bothers me that I got my, uh, that I didn't center it up. So let me show you my sample. Okay. <laughs> So here's the original so you can see it all centered up perfectly, but I just love this card It was just I was so excited when I saw that dress and I thought oh I can turn that into a card I know it it's gonna look so cute and it does I love it So I hope that you have enjoyed today's tutorial you guys Thank you so much for joining me today And then don't forget you can find all of the measurements and supplies for today's project over on my coordinating blog post Which I have linked down below in the video description um, And I do have all of the supplies linked down below as well um, if you'd like to to, to click straight from this blog post. But thank you guys so much for joining me today and stay tuned. I'll be back again very soon with another tutorial. Bye now.